Hey, what's up? Alright, so I got this panel pretty much flatted out the way that I want. Um, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and start doing the Hulk and Spidey and all these ropes. And it looks like dust is being kicked up. Um, so I'm just going to make that all the same right there. And um, what I've gone ahead and done is I put a little bit different colors on his face. Like I made space around the eye and this looks like an ear to me I made those the same color and then leading up to the tusks looks like it's just got a different different shade on it so um, I got that on there got the tusks and the teeth and the toes all done um, got this little these little giblets here whatever you call them um, the wraps around the wood the wood these bags all these straps these straps down here so um yeah it's it's coming together pretty nice um i should go through i'll show you how to get some of these sections done i'll go through and do this bag right here it's not really critical it's not an important part of the piece but um what i'll do <coughs> is i'll just get all these straps and some of these these layers that are coming off here so just go to my trusty lasso, grab all that, and, and it's totally fine if I run over some of the sections because they've already been colored. It's all flat. It does not matter. And you can tell I got some issues here, but um, I'll actually be going through and doing another tutorial on these PSDs that I just received from the artist. Uh, I wish I waited before starting this series, but um, just got the tutorial, or just got the tutorial started, but I just got the PSDs, so um, what I'll do, actually, what I'll do is I'll grab this color, this red, and I'll just add a little orange. And there we go. That's pretty good. Um, this looks like it's just, she's got some belongings that are coming off. It's a little feathered, so not feathered in the sense of using your lasso tool, but feathered in the sense that it is just tearing. So I'll just make that a little crazy looking. And then, there we go. It's good enough for government work. And, um, yeah, I'll just make it like that. There we go. And it's just that easy, really. If um, you start working on stuff like this, you'll notice how quick you can move from panel to panel. This is obviously a big panel. I've got this big lurking monster. A lot of things to consider. But, um, yeah, it's looking, looking like it's coming together here. So what I'll do is I'll just start down here and show you a little bit of this process. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do these ropes first. And I might seem a little weird, but it'll come together later. So I'm going to do these ropes, and I'm just going to make sure that I get all of these. Yep. Looks like I need to go back in here. Bam. And um, when I do the Hulk, I don't want to have to worry about these ropes because I don't want to have to go through and color them after I finish the Hulk. After I finish the Hulk, I just want to be done, you know? So that's why I, I do everything in the foreground first. I find that it helps me just organize a little bit better. And I, I like to work quicker, so it's better for me to do it this way. Now, I might change that in the future based off feedback that I get, I'm posting all my flats places like on Reddit and I'll be posting them on Comic Construct so you can check them out and you know just looking for feedback here trying to get better as I go and well, I'll just make this a little crazy looking it'll be fun um, yeah when I have those PSDs open it's gonna just move a lot smoother uh, and put that in there. Alright, and 
Like I said, there's probably a slight audio delay. I appreciate you bearing with me as I figure that out. But, um, for right now, these ropes are coming together pretty good. If, um, you ever have doubts about what your flats are looking like, then I'll show you in a second. But you can always just turn your inks layer off and then you'll be able to actually see what they look like. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to finish up right here with these ropes and everything and just clean that up a bit. Having, having these, uh, this PNG of the inks is not great, so you know, that's pretty much the best that you can expect for that. But, um, I'll have the PSDs coming in soon, so that'll be good, and I'll be able to work a little bit faster. Alright, getting pretty close on these ropes. Now, I gotta say, I was working on a, uh, a flat for Ghost Rider the other day, and it was just rough. I had to go through and get every link of the chain. Um, if I was a colorist, I would not want to work on a Ghost Rider book if the chain was a prominent feature. I'm sure there's a fast way to do it and an easy way to make it look good, but... Um, it was, it was for me just more of an experiment than anything else, so, I just kind of did my best, and checked it out, and it looked fine, honestly, um, it wasn't that great, so, that's why I'm not displaying it, but, my Yoda one, I will be displaying that one, I'm pretty proud of how that came out, although, there's some rocks on it that came out a little bit weird, but that's okay. We're all just learning. Just winging it, you know? So I'll just grab all that. And, of course, the Hulk is tied up. Because that's fun. And these little alien guys that were up in that top panel kind of remind me of um, guys that I've seen in Marvel from... Uh, what was it? I may have even been Planet Hulk. Um, not like Meek. But somebody else, who was it? Um, I'm going to have to actually go through and reread that. I love that series. Planet Hulk is awesome. Better than World War Hulk, which was kind of a letdown after reading Planet Hulk, honestly. But, you know, what are you going to do? If you don't have Peter David working on your Hulk book, then what are you doing? Actually, Greg, Greg Pak is probably one of my favorites. So. Not trying to discourage anyone from reading him, ever. Alright, do we have ropes down here? No, we don't. So, those ropes are pretty much good. Um, I want these ropes to be the same color as these ropes up here, because these people don't look like they have a lot of resources. So what I'll do is I'll just grab that color and just apply it down here. There we go. Now, um, like I was saying before, you can just turn your inks layer off and you'll be able to see your flats and it will actually tell you how good you're doing. So you can see that this is pretty much a monster right here. You know, you don't get the full picture, but you know. And then down here, you can see that I, I have some white space, so that's not great. But these inks are so heavy that I would argue that it does not matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to finish up this page and then I'll see you in the next video and we'll get on coloring and it will be a lot of fun. So thanks for checking me out. Don't forget to subscribe, thumbs up, like, do your thing. Check us out on social media. Thank you.